Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my next review for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So, now that I've found all the star maps, the idea is to get to the Star Forge to defeat Revan. But before you can actually do that, you have you crash land on a planet just called the Unknown World. As you explore the planet, it turns out that the planet is where the Rakata retreated to after the fall of their empire as they try to study why they lost um, <clears throat> their connection to the Force. Um, how they can overcome their innate anger, angry desires, and rebuild their empire, their empire, or um, even try to uh, regain their connection to the Force. So, as you get go around the planet, you do meet the two sects of the Rakata. One is their evil, angry half, kind of the Sith version of the Rakata, where they um, follow their baser instincts. The other, and they're on the North Beach. On the South Beach, you have the peaceful Rakata who are trying to, who are focused on um, energy and peace and regaining their connection to the Force, kind of like the Jedi of the Rakata. So the purpose of landing on this planet is, to begin with is to turn off the disruptor field, disruption field and allow and get some parts to repair the Ebon Hawk so you can take off and land on the Star Forge. So once you deal with the two halves, you do, find, you do get access to the ancient temple. You have to defeat some dark Jedi, make your way around the temple in order to get to the computer at the top in order to, dis to turn off the disruption field. So there's not too much that goes on on this planet because there's really only those two items to complete is fix the Ebon Hawk and turn off the disruptor field. Uh, once you've done that, you're allowed to um, take off. Um... You also get Bastila back either as a Jedi or a Sith, depending on your um, connection to the Force and your character. And then um, once you get her back, you um, can repair the hyperdrive generator and take it from there. So overall, a relatively short planet compared to the rest of the planets, but it's something that needs to be done. Um, once you get to this point in the game, or even before you leave the last planet that you complete, so in my case, Korriban... Um, Essentially, from here, um, you cannot complete any more past missions. They all clear out. You can't buy any more um, uh, products or goods or upgrades or computer spikes or anything like that. So, um, basically, what you have is all you get. Um, you can upgrade your character, but that's really about it. So, um, there's not much else to say. I liked the I liked the level just because it was simple. Um, it was a very peaceful planet. Finishing it is done. The Mandalorians seemed kind of weird, but because if you've upgraded your character right, it actually goes pretty quickly. Um, in addition to the Mandalorians, it was kind of weird to see the Rancors, but um, that was pretty easy to they're pretty easy to defeat as well. So um, you can do either side first. Um, as a dark side user, I kind of didn't really remember going, much going into it. I know that you have to get to what you have to accomplish, but not much of the backstory. Which is why I didn't do the the review for any part of this level. So there are the two gameplay videos, and my review is that is that is about it. You finish. I finished the north side, defeated them, released the guys called the one, forced them to unlock the temple on the other side, and then I got Bastila back as a dark Jedi, um, killed Jolie because he was not on with the game plan. Um, he didn't want to go to the dark side. Um, I think if you stay on the light side, you can get both of them back, um, Jolie and Bastila, but it's something that I don't remember offhand. So uh, once you do that, you go back to the ship, you get a, there's a mutiny. Um, as a light side user, you can keep Karth, but if you stay to the dark side, you have to, he runs off and then you have to fight mission. Um, Zalbar originally stays on, but he um, defects because he wants to protect mission more than honor the life debt so they're gone as well so going into it um going into the star force level i'm down all those people so um the idea from here is to go in with candorous and bastila as they're probably my best options um and because bastila can heal everybody it's easiest to not have to worry about um construction spikes for t3 m4 or um, hk47 although having t3 m4 might be useful to getting um revan's robes on the star force but we'll see about that that's not really a main primary mission it'd be cool to get but um i doesn't make doesn't mean the level can be finished or not so 
Um, that's kind of how it is going into it. This is just an intermediary review to um, discuss kind of where I'm going into it, where I'm from, and where I'm going. So um, that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find me on the website at PatelN01.com for past episodes, um, subscription links supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. Um, the, and of course, for as a, all the game re- as a, all the um, Kotor Knights of the Old Republic reviews are uploaded to YouTube. Um, but you can of course find them on YouTube at YouTube.com/PatelN01. So of course, I'd be I'm very thankful and honored to have you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, leave your comments and reviews, and all of that good stuff. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.